Alright, budget magic time. Goblins in standard. Uh, this hand's pretty sweet. Especially if we draw a third land. But we got one drop, two drop, removal spell or burn spell, and some three drops. So if we just curve into Hordling Outburst, seems like there's a pretty good chance we win this game. Goblin Glory Chaser, coming to realize, really good on the play. Not so much on the draw. Ooh, there's a land. Alright, let's just Subterranean Scout. <laughs> Make the Glory Chaser unblockable. Not that it especially matters. And get in for one. And it will become renowned, become a 2 2 with Menace. Speaking of Menace. I don't know if it's just because it's a new keyword, but it seems like that is being stuffed on just about every card possible these days. Sajis, hanger back, X1. Hmm. So options here are dash heel cutter, hit for seven, or just play. Wardling Outburst. I think that's better. Let's get in with just a Glory Chaser. Put our opponent to 17. <clears throat> and then Hordling Outburst. And then next turn, we might Heal Cutter to keep the beats a-flowing. Tap Prairie Stream. Do they have a Jace, maybe? Another hanger back. Collateral damage. So we have a lot of burn in our hand. I think we're still just going to dash heal cutter. Tack with everything. Make it so one of the hanger backs can't block. Opponent can trade with our scout, I guess. But they still take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down to nine. They get the Thopter token. Heal Cutter goes back to our hand. And we're pretty close to winning with our burn spells. We have five burn damage in hand. This deck is good at putting opponents on the back foot. So I'm guessing our opponent. <clears throat> has an Ojitize command. So I think what we're going to do is just swing with everything. See how our opponent blocks. We don't really want to just run the heel cutter into the Ojitize command. Going to double block there. Then we kill the Thopter, leave the hanger back alive. We could kill it now. Do we want to wild slash it? If our opponent has a counter, that ends up being bad. If they don't, it ends up being really good. I guess we could wild slash and then collateral damage if we had to, but then we're not playing this dragon fodder. Probably still worth it. Does our opponent have a counter? They have Stasis Snare. And that's fine. Gets rid of our Glory Chaser. The Hangerback still dies. They get one Thopter token. We get in for three, down to six. Play another Dragon Fodder and ship the turn. And we still have the collateral damage to maybe finish off this game if we can get in another three points of damage. A land actually wouldn't be bad here. Then we could dash and leave up collateral damage potentially. Our opponent's actually going to attack. What can they have that makes attacking a good decision here? Ooh, Wingmate 
shock. Uh, now we really want to land. Land? Actually, can we win with... Yeah, that's alright. We can win with Mardu Scout. Dash Mardu Scout, swing with everything, and then collateral damage for the final three points. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Then we'll just collateral damage, sacking the scout, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And hit with the three goblins. Sweet. Whew. All right, that was close. So against Jeskai, I think we want to go with our control package of outpost sieges and stuff. Fiery impulse, we can cut those. And on the draw, I think we're going to cut the glory chasers and a single scout. Do we want the fourth outpost siege? That's a lot of outpost sieges, but they seem really good in the matchup. I guess we can cut one more scout and bring in outpost siege. Yeah, let's try it like that. All right, we're going to need to draw some lands for this one. But we have Molten Vortex, which isn't bad. Come on, lands. Sweet. So we get the Molten Vortex down. Our nice sideboard tech. So we're not going to pitch lands until we get Outpost Siege down. We want to get at least four lands on the battlefield. Because Outpost Siege is pretty important. Alright, so we'll just go with... Ooh, another Outpost Siege. Well, we really would like a land now. Subterranean Scout, just as a two-drop. Keep the pressure on, or get the pressure on. <laughs> Haven't had any pressure yet. Well, if we draw another land and just get to start slamming Outpost Sieges on turn four, starting on turn four, I think that goes a long way towards us winning. We still don't have a really good way of beating a Wingmate Rock. But, land? Alright, there's the fourth land. So this turn, we'll just dash the heel cutter. Since we don't have anything else going on. Hopefully get in for five. Does our opponent have a removal spell? Surge of Righteousness. Yeah, that's annoying. So it gains our opponent a couple life back. They have another removal spell, too? Oh, they're just getting a tap land. Alright, that's fine. Oh, still worried about raid on a wingmate rock. That's a lot of big flyers that we don't have a really good way of beating at the moment. Gideon. Well, that changes things. Now we gotta wait on the outpost siege, I think, unfortunately. Drawing a land actually wouldn't be bad. Scout. Well, we got a dash heal cutter. Kill the Gideon. Make it so the knight ally can't block. Play the mountain. See, if we had another mountain, we could have shot down that knight, and then it wouldn't be able to trigger raid if our opponent has wingmate rock. As is, if they have wingmate rock and untap land, which they have untap land, <laughs> sag it super quick. I'm pretty sure this means wingmate rock is coming down. And then we're pretty far behind. That gains life, and we just don't have a good way of removing it. We gotta like store up lands with Molten Vortex or draw into multiple burn spells. Just not easy for us to beat. Yep, there it is. It's a downside also of being on the draw. Being on the draw makes this much worse. Well, I think we actually maybe we gotta dash a heal cutter here, unfortunately.
tech with everything make it so the token can't block this way if our opponent does block with wingmate rock we can pitch this land to vortex and kill the wingmate rock oh they don't even alright they block heel cutter take two so then we gotta pitch this land shoot down wingmate rock hope they don't have another one but we had to get that off the table still not in great shape they still have the the one bird tap land second wingmate rock and we're I don't think there's any coming back from that we don't even have a good sideboard card to deal with wingmate rock honestly alright nothing so that's good well do we just gotta go outpost siege or can we try to race? We could Impact Tremors dash Mardu Scout. Is Outpost Siege just too slow here? I think we gotta try to race. I don't think it'll work, but we can try. Impact Tremors. Dash Mardu Scout. Ojitai's Command is a blowout here. Well, it resolves, so that's not bad. If we attack with both, we hit our opponent to 10. I mean, I guess that's what we gotta try to do. We just gotta play like they're on blanks. But if they have basically anything, we're... Uh, another surge would be bad as well. Yeah, another surge. Up to 17. And another removal spell, also a stasis snare. Alright. Hmm. Not looking too good. Just take three from the bird. Well, let's play Outpost Siege. On cons. Gonna hang on to this land. That is one way we can kill like this bird. Is if we string together enough lands. We can molten vortex our way out of it. Planes for our opponent. Are they gonna attack with both this time? They do. Alright. Drop into five. That is a one turn clock. We would love to draw a land this turn. Exile land, draw a Mardu Scout. Well, I guess we play the land, just cast the Mardu Scout, deal one. Then we gotta hope we can use it to block the Knight token. And then hope we draw a land to shoot down the bird next turn. Alright, opponent attacks with both. Block the knight. Uh, do they have another surge? The third surge, oh my god. That is a lot of hate against him on a red deck. And Valorous Stance makes it indestructible. Well, we're still not just dead. Uh, yes, we kinda are. We need to hit a draw a land and hit a creature. Oh, our opponent has something else too. Hanger back X3. Now we're now we need to hit like a token maker and draw land. Land land so we can shoot down the bird but we still die. Yep, that does it. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm. Hanger back is a definite issue. Roast doesn't hit it. I guess we should probably bring the glory chasers back in. Take out two more of the scouts. Go with three outpost sieges and go down a heel cutter. Oh, we just gotta hope our opponent doesn't draw wingmates. We sort of put up a fight. Being on the play hopefully will help. Well, not with a one lander. Alright, I guess that's sort of better. What do we got on top? Wild Slash. I don't think we need it, honestly, since we have Molten Vortex. Uh, lands basically are wild slashes at this point, and lands help us cast our other stuff, so 
probably better to try to find more lands and keep a wild slash. Now the question is going to be, do we dash a Mardu Scout? I think the answer is most likely no. I think we need to just cast a Mardu Scout. And then next turn, we can dash something. Probably the Heal Cutter. Although, if our opponent leaves up Surge mana, maybe it's better just to dash the Scout. So they do have Surge mana. Alright, we're going to... Hmm... Do we dash Scout, or do we just cast Scout? Alright, let's attack with Mardu Scout. We're not going to dash, we're just going to cast. If they got the Surge, they got the Surge. It's going to hit something eventually. Reality Shift. Interesting. When it's a Pile Driver? That's actually pretty spicy. I was not expecting to see Reality Shift there. So we can flip this over for two and hit for five, six, seven, eight, nine next turn, potentially. When it cracks Flooded Strand, they're probably not too worried about this Manifest. There's a mountain. I don't think we play the mountain. We gotta save it for Vortex. Well, I think we just dash heal cutter and attack with everything. Not gonna flip the pile driver yet. What's our opponent got here? Probably Stasis Snare, but what do they target? Probably the heal cutter, I would assume. So we still hit him for six and make our glory chaser renown. So that's not bad. Yeah. Hits the heal cutter. In some ways that's preferable actually because it was gonna bounce back to our hand. And we were gonna have to keep spending mana on it. So we got our opponent down to thirteen. That is not bad. And we have this sneaky pile driver if we ever get a chance to flip it. Gideon isn't that bad because we could just shoot it down. Shoot down the token and then attack and kill it. Outpost siege, shoo. All right, let's attack with everything. Another stasis snare. Yup. All right, so we hit our opponent for five down to eight. And then I guess we got to play this land and play the Outpost Siege on cons. We still would like to draw lands for our Vortex. But we got our opponent under a lot of pressure. They don't even have a creature for Wingmate Rock yet. There's the Gideon. So we definitely like to draw a land so we can kill this knight. So Outpost Siege reveals Wild Slash. Well, that kills the knight. And Mardu Scout. So let's Wild Slash the knight. Dash Mardu Scout. And I think this does it. I think we don't even have to attack Gideon. I think we can attack our opponent for exactly lethal. Unless they can do something with that one mana. And... Sweet! Five dollar goblins getting it done! <laughs>